cook it, Dave. What I'm going to try to do is, is talk my way through the preparation of the basic barbecue sauce. The proportion of the ingredients is non-critical. Mm -hmm. You just want the end result to taste right. The basis is ordinary ketchup. Okay. Now, this bowl is about the right size. We're going to be barbecuing some ribs later this afternoon. So I'm just going to empty the contents of the jar. And then ketchup runs a little better if you shake it. It's uh, Danny, I don't remember what the term is for the kind of... Uh, viscosity? Well, no, it's not viscosity. Ketchup is one of those things that when you shake it, it becomes more fluid. And there's a particular term for that kind of uh, I don't know. material. That's the reason why when uh, you're trying to get ketchup out of the bottle, you shake it, and that makes it makes it a little more runny or more fluid. Uh, we've got a pretty healthy batch of ribs, so I think I'll go ahead and do it. I've had a partial bottle of ketchup over here, too. I'll just go ahead and empty it. Now, the way that stands right now, it's pretty thick. Uh, I'll end up a little bit later thinning it using both vinegar, vinegar and uh, Worcestershire. But right now, I'm putting some other ingredients in. I'll put a little salt. Again, your proportions aren't critical. I'm going to put some sugar. don't really need a lot. I'm going to put some black pepper. And I'm going to put some fresh red pepper. Now the reason I'm putting these in these ingredients, I guess, for lack of a better term, the dry ingredients. We'll mix those in, and then I'll uh, I'll work on the uh, proper amount of liquid after I have these in. And so, by adding things a little at a time, I'll be able to get the sauce to the consistency I want. Mm -hmm. So that when you brush it down, it's liquid enough but it's thick enough that it'll stick to the meat. Okay. So, now, first thing I'm gonna do is put in a little text of peat. You probably wanna be a little careful that you don't overdo some things uh, in the beginning because you can always add a little more later. Right. So what I'll do after I've uh, after I work things over a little bit, I'll, I'll do a little taste testing and see if I need to add more of something. Kind of hard to take something out once you put it in. That's right. So lemon juice. And now I'm going to stir it up and see what kind of consistency I have. And that's good. It's still, uh, with what I have at the moment, that's still a little bit on the thick side. And I, I do want to be able to put some vinegar and Worcestershire in there. And then, once, and then when I've done that, I'll stir again and see what I'm dealing with. Obviously, I'm measuring very carefully. I can see that. Of course, the Worcestershire will deepen the color of it a little bit, too. I 
I guess, at least theoretically, what I what I try to get to is something that has has a little tanginess, is somewhat tangy, has a little fire to it, but not too much. And as you can uh, you can tell, it's still a little thick, and that's good because I, I want to put some grit with it anyway. So far, I haven't put any vinegar in. And I don't know it for a fact, but it seems that vinegar helps tenderize the meat a little bit. with almost the consistency that I'm looking for. But repeating what I said earlier, you could just take your ketchup and put your, your dryer materials in first and then stir your liquids in as, as you add them, then you can end up with a, with a sauce that's not too thin, not too thick. Yeah, that's still a little bit thick, but that's probably good, but it's it's also a pretty good time to uh, do a little taste test. So why don't you take your finger and get a little sample there. Tastes good. It's a little sweet. Okay. Spicy. Cameraman. Cameraman, would you take take a little taste there? We can stand a little more Worcestershire and a little more vinegar. And it's that, how did you, Cause in our, I guess they're a little sweeter than sour. Twang. And then the vinegar will have a little bit of twang to it. It's also going to get your, your consistency a little bit thinner. Yeah, and I, I do want it a little bit thinner than what we had. What about a little... You dropped the kerosene. <coughs> kerosene? Well, actually, I don't want my fire on the meat. I want it under the meat. Okay. Yep. Turn it. I know I'd be And that. one of the privileges of the cook is the cook gets to sample the outside meat while he's cooking. And then when the meal comes around, you're not hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. That's just so I have a prop. Oh, let me get this. In. So, describe the ingredients starting with the sugar. Sugar, ketchup, crushed red pepper. Uh, that happens to be Texas Peak, could be Tabasco just as well. Worcestershire, lemon juice, salt, vinegar, black pepper. Finished product. Uh, some people put some other ingredients in, like celery seeds and things like that. But, uh, Garlic, yeah, garlic. 